What's up guys? So this video is sponsored by Clan HQ, which is a fully featured messaging app that specializes in building integrations for your favorite games. They've already got all the features you know and love, including stickers, GIFs, photos, albums, notes, reactions, extensive notification and badging settings, full admin controls, the ability to set up an alliance, assign leaders and officers, etc. But here's where it gets awesome. Because this app is designed to integrate with Marvel Strike Force, it will do a lot for you automatically, like create general, leader, and announcement chats when you make an alliance, including chats for each strike team. You'll always be able to view someone's in-game name. You can flag yourself as looking for alliance or auto post recruiting chats if you're looking for members. You'll even be able to see things like someone's total collection power and strongest team power just by looking at their profile. So I'll put a link in the video description below for Clan HQ so you guys can be one of the first to check them out. What's up guys? So today I wanted to make a quick video talking about the top 10 bugged abilities in Marvel Strike Force. The reason I'm making this video today is because a new site just launched that's tremendously helpful for serious MSF players, and that website is www.msftools.com. In short, this website breaks down the exact logic behind a character's abilities, including the specific order of operations, which makes it really easy to understand visually what's going on behind the scenes. In taking a look at all the characters, I noticed there were a few abilities that don't do quite what their ability descriptions claim they do, so I wanted to make this list and count down the top 10 bugged abilities in MSF. We'll start with 5 abilities that are secretly worse than they seem, and then we'll take a look at 5 abilities that are actually way better than they look. Starting with number 10, Storm Special, Ice Storm. What's up Valley Maniacs, Valley Fight here, I am back, welcome to Casino Whoa, 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 whoa. What's up? What are you doing what? here? We're doing the collab. Not on this video. Yeah, look, we're doing a collab, dude. We're, wait, wait, did you we're wear? Collab. Did you wear my shirt? We're wearing Captain America for the collab. No, we're not what, doing what a no. We're not doing a matching shirts collab. This That's is a solo video. <laughs> no, 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 no. This is a solo What's video. This? What is what is this? We'll we'll collab on the next video, Valley. Thanks for dropping by. All right, all right, all right. We'll do the next one. All right, next one. So the part of this ability that's incorrect is the line that says this attack has plus 100% extra focus and cannot be dodged. In reality, this is not the case. The part suggesting it can't be dodged is absolutely correct. However, the part about the 100% extra focus is bunk. The ability does lock Storm in at 100% of her focus, which means offense down won't reduce her focus, which is nice, but she doesn't actually gain any focus when using this ability, which makes this ability a lot less reliable than it reads. It's a bummer. Number 9, Mystique's passive, Subterfuge. So the part of this ability that's incorrect is the line that says, On Magneto's turn, prolong all positive effects on self and Magneto by a duration of 1, up to a maximum of 3. In actuality, while the code does direct Mystique to target Magneto, they left out the line of code that has her extend any positive effects. The ability then immediately redirects to her targeting herself, and after that she does extend any positive effects on herself, leaving Magneto high and dry. Unfortunate. Number 8, Scientist Supreme Special, Field Trials. So the ability description states, convert four negative effects on each ally into the equivalent positive effect. So this works as intended sometimes. And the reason for this is because the code doesn't actually instruct Scientist Supreme to convert effects for each ally, like the description suggests. It actually has our select five allies at random. Now on a normal five person team, this means the ability will affect everyone. But if you're doing campaign and you're controlling any story granted characters, or if you have a summoner on the team, there are plenty of instances where this ability will completely ignore someone, and the results can often be the difference between life or death for that character. As if Scientist Supreme wasn't already having a rough enough time. Number seven, Vision's basic, Heavy Hitter. So the part of this ability that's incorrect is the line that says apply offense down to each target and apply bleed against each tech enemy. While the first half is coded correctly and Vision can apply offense down to each target of his chain, they left out the line of code instructing him to apply bleed to the chained targets of their tech. This means that although Vision will apply bleed to his first target hit if they're tech, if he chains to additional tech targets, he won't even attempt to apply the bleed, and that's a bit of a letdown. Number six, Captain Marvel's passive, higher, further, faster. So the part of this ability that's incorrect is the line that says, if not in binary, when this character gains ability energy, gain plus one charge up to a maximum of five. The part of this that's misleading is that the code actually specifies on self gaining energy from a non-passive. 
This means that while there are still a handful of characters Captain Marvel can gain energy from and capitalize on, she actually won't gain any charge from Star-Lord's passive, Kree Reaper's passive, Kree Royal Guard's passive, or Thanos' passive. This is especially unfortunate because she's supposed to synergize really well with pretty much all of those characters. Alright, now we'll take a look at 5 abilities that are actually better than they seem. Starting with Rocket Raccoon's passive, Expert Tinker. So the part of this ability that's incorrect is the line that says, on turn, 40% chance to apply a random positive effect to two random allies. So I was on the fence about including this as an ability that's better than it seems, because sometimes it's worse than it seems, but all in all I decided it usually works out for the better. So whenever you see random positive effect or random negative effect in a character kit, they're actually only ever referencing three buffs or debuffs. Speed up or slow, offense up or down, and defense up or down. That's it. Rocket's passive actually suggests he applies a random positive effect, and it actually does in his passive code list all three of those effects. The problem is that they coded it to apply to the first one of the listed effects. Well, the first one listed is offense up. This means that Rocket will only ever apply offense up to himself and an ally with his passive. However, considering how much damage Rocket already does, I see this as an absolute win. Number four, Winter Soldier's ult, Mechanical Arm. So this ability description reads, attack primary target for 630% damage and apply heal block for two turns. Well, that's true, but they left something out. It should also say this attack cannot be blocked because, well, it's unblockable. This is particularly useful in Alliance War where it's common to have deflect for a guaranteed block on turn one, and it's also super effective against block-reliant tanks like Captain America, Merc Riot Guard, M'Baku, plus it's just cool that Captain America can't block it. Number three, Hand Archer Special, Arrow Storm. So this ability description reads, attack all enemies for 190% damage and clear one positive effect off each enemy. Not all that impressive. However, this description leaves out something very important. It should also say, gain 100,000% extra focus for this attack. In layman's terms, it can't be resisted. This actually makes the ability incredibly useful for reliably removing otherwise incredibly difficult to remove buffs, like Thanos' Taunt, Colossus' Defense Up, Juggernaut's Immunity, etc. For the record, this does also apply to Nobu Summon Hand Archers, making them more useful than they seem as well. Number 2, Jessica Jones' Basic, Jawbreaker. So for all the abilities thus far, we've been talking about the max level versions of the ability just to keep it simple. However, for JJ, we're actually going to look at her level 6 and level 7 basic. So at level 6, it reads 50% chance to bonus attack for 160% damage. In reality, Jessica Jones actually has a 50% chance to bonus attack 1 to 2 times, meaning even at level 6, she can land 3 attacks with her basic. Not too shabby. However, the main reason that she's on this list at the number 2 spot is because her level 7 basic works in a very deceptively unique way. So there are many abilities in the game that generate ability energy. However, JJ's basic is the only one that actively seeks out an ally who isn't full on energy. While every other energy generation ability in the game is truly random, the energy that JJ gives to a defender ally specifically looks for a defender whose energy level is not full. And that is incredibly useful, and it means JJ is even better than she seems. And finally, number one, Iron Fist's passive, Son of Kun Lun. Alright, so this one really surprised me. So the ability description reads, gain 5% damage for each defender ally. And that part is true. However, in the coding, they left out a small part of that. Namely, the ally part. What I mean by that is, Iron Fist actually gains 5% damage per defender character in the match. Friend or foe. This means you can take your Iron Fist against defender heavy enemy raid nodes or campaign nodes and have him putting out a lot of extra damage. To me, that's pretty nuts. So there you have it, the top 10 bugged abilities in Marvel Strike Force. Big shout out to Hazelwood and www.msftools.com for making this awesome resource. Big shout out to Clan HQ for sponsoring this video. Big shout out to Valley for intruding on the video. Big shout out to Vet for doing a terrific job with the editing as always. Thank you guys very much for checking it out. Feel free to flick that like button and caress that subscribe button as it helps me out and so you can stay up to date on the latest MSF news. And feel free to stop by my Twitch channel, twitch.tv slash casino, where I stream Marvel Strike Force every single day at 1 p.m. Pacific time. Also, anyone is welcome to join my Discord server, discord.gg slash casino, where we have blitz predictions, infographics, videos, Q&A, and more. Otherwise, that's all for now, but I will see you guys real soon. Peace!